to Jetta's Craft Cottage. Today we are going to make a table topper using the 60 degree lines on your cutting mat or a 60 degree triangle ruler. Let's get started. For this easy table topper, you will need five different fabrics, either novelty, holiday, or traditional fabric. Use some of the scraps you have in your fabric collection. You'll also need a cutting mat that has a 60 degree angle on it, or a 60 degree ruler, a straight edge ruler, and a rotary cutter. First, cut the fabrics. You want them two and a half inches by the width of the fabric. Most of the time, the width is 44 inches. Do this to all five fabrics. Press your fabrics. Open and arrange the fabrics. Now lay the first two strips with right sides together and pin it if you need to. Now sew the two strips together with a quarter inch seam allowance. I like to press my seams after each strip to set the stitches. Press your seams to one side. You do not have to open your seams. These are all pressed to one side. Now add the third strip to the second strip. Right sides together and pin it. And sew these all together. Press again. For this one, I want all of the seams going the same direction. This is the first one, the second one, the third one. Now we're going to add the fourth to the third piece. Right sides together, pin it. Then take it to the sewing machine again. Now we'll add the last strip to the other four. Take it to the sewing machine.
Most of the cutting boards have a 60 degree angle mark. See it here? This has a 30 and a 45 also and 60 going this direction. Place the bottom of the edge of the fabric on one of the inch lines. Make sure you can see the 60 degree line. Now I'm going to take my straight edge ruler and line that up with that 60 degree mark and take my rotary cutter and cut straight off. Now this is the angle. Now flip the whole piece over so you're working on the back side. Line up the bottom edge. Leave about a 3 8 of an inch at the top. Here's a 60 degree line and here's a 60 degree line here. So I'm going to take my ruler, line it up on that angle and do a cut again. Now you have one triangle. We're going to flip this over again and we're going to do the same thing, lining it up until we get six triangles. six triangles. Place them so the tips are in the center. Because we flip the fabric each time, our centers will be, have alternating colors. We have our hexagon. Now we will assemble them in groups of three. Take one triangle, lay it on top of the one right next to it. If we press the seams all in the same direction, then cut and flip, our seams should nestle. So you can see right here, one of the seams are going up and the other one's going down. Line up your pieces. The seams should nestle right in. Pin these and take it to the sewing machine. Press the seams to one side. Now we're going to add the next triangle. Make sure you are alternating the triangles. Take this to the sewing machine. We have the first half done, now we're going to do the second half. Check your triangles to make sure that you're not going to have the same color on this side. So you want to alternate it on the opposite side. So it'll be green, gold, green. The two halves are completed. Now sew them together. Flip them over, nestle them on the seams. This is completed. Now you can quilt it the way you normally would and bind it. If you have a 60 degree triangle ruler, you can cut the pieces out a little faster. Because I am right-handed, I'm going to make the first cut on the right side. Then I'm going to flip it over so that the cut side is now on the left side. Flip my ruler. Keep flipping the ruler all the time, making sure that that flat edge is on the top.
Make your hexagon by alternating the colors. Again, sew the first half together, then sew the second. If you would like to have the hexagon with all the strips matching like these two, you will want to sew two identical strips, five strips in each. Cut the triangles the same way as you did before. both strips. Instead of alternating each of the triangles, take three from one group and remove them. Now add the other three pieces. Match the triangles and sew with a quarter inch seam sewing three at a time so you have one half and then the other half. The hardest part of this project is to match up the seams and to make sure you don't cut off the points. I cut off a couple points right here. So you want them to be nice and straight. Make the triangles on each one. Now with these pieces where the triangles are the same in the center, this can be more forgiving if your sewing is not as accurate. Because these triangles were cut on the bias, the fabric may stretch. Use a little spray starch on your piece. Press it. This should help it flatten it out. You can quilt these by using the stitch in the ditch method or an overall free motion, meandering or stiffling. After it is all quilted, use your favorite way to bind it. To avoid any puckering, start meandering from the center outward. Go in a circular motion and just go all the way out. You will want to bind the hexagon Check out my video on how to bind. These table toppers are great for holidays, decorative tables, or gifts. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. A day without sunshine is just an extra day for crafting.